hello dear students as you are happily getting ready to get your pg seat of your choice in the top institute of the country in the forthcoming inict exams let me add on a few tips which might help you to do better in your exams first of all i just want to tell you the important topics must revise topics before your exams don't waste time reading everything instead give more importance for revising the high yield topics the probable high yield topics are in general physiology transport mechanisms cell junctions homeostasis second messenger system body fluid compartments very high yield topics from general physiology nerve physiology membrane potentials action potential very important topic as far as respiratory physiology is considered oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve flow volume loop high altitude physiology pulmonary function test important both in physiology as well as in respiratory medicine as far as renal physiology is considered there are many small topics in renal physiology but all of them are high yield topics counter current mechanism jg apparatus renal auto regulation adh anti diuretic hormone clearance gfr reabsorption so you see that renal physiology itself is a high yield topic because every year you can see questions from all these topics so go through revise renal physiology carefully as far as muscle physiology is considered sarcomere is important excitation contraction coupling another important topic an acid base balance as you know in biochemistry medicine and also in physiology repeatedly questions are asked from acid base balance so go through the problem based learning in acid base balance as far as cvs is considered blood pressure bp regulation high yield topic cardiac output jvp cardiac cycle cardiac reflexes ecg and also poiss lew higgins law repeatedly questions are asked from all these topics as far as endocrine is considered thyroid and calcium high yield topics cns in nerve or neurophysiology pain physiology is important memory hypothalamus sensory receptors vision as far as git is considered you might have very few questions maybe from git hormones or git motility related questions So these are all the must revise topics before you go for your exams the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra how do you get that little extra let me add on a few tips for you repeat questions pyqs that is the mantra to solve easily all your questions in the exam go through all the previous year questions and get the right answers for all the previous year questions not only the previous year question previous year topics are also very important if you get any mistake in a previously asked question you will not at all be into the competition because any well prepared student will have a good hold of all the correct answers for the pyqs so please go through all the pyqs not only ini pyqs you can also go through your neat exam pyqs the other thing is about the negative marking since you have negative marking in your exam you just can't click on all the questions you should be very careful attend your exams in two rounds first round only for very easy questions the questions that you directly know the answer so in first round go through all the questions and solve all the questions that you know your answers directly so the easy ones second round you go back to the questions that you found difficult because if you attend the entire exam in the same round in one round you will not have time at all so if you solve your exams in two rounds first round give importance for all the questions that you know second round come back and solve the difficult ones by doing this you will give more time for the right answers rather than wasting time on the wrong answers and as always sleep well have good food don't have any disputes with any of your friends or family at least till your exams even if you have any say sorry apologize go to exam with a happy mind do your best god will take care of the rest my best wishes and sincere prayers to all of you good luck dears